Hey guys, this is Subifly, and um, we're doing a Windows 10 uh, Insider Preview uh, quick look. Uh, I'll try to make it quick. Uh, basically, they released the Insider Preview, uh, where before it used to be called a Technical Preview. So there's quite a few differences that's been added. Um, just gonna kind of quick illustration of what you to what to expect um, at least on the Windows 10 once it releases itself once it gets released uh, to the public and it's expected to do that at the end of this year uh, along with some mobile devices and um, and uh, free upgrades for those that are running Windows 8.1 as far as the last time I I heard so a quick uh, view on what's new uh, first of all is the Cortana uh, ask me anything uh, so when you set this up originally it will ask you who you are or what you're interested in what you like to be called and it will remember that and so whenever you ask or you open it it'll ask or say the name that you give and it'll give you a quick um, kind of information of what you were interested uh, interested in on so in the next part is the start menu so they kind of married the Windows 8.1 um, live tile uh, with the Windows 7 a lot of people didn't like the the Windows 8 design aspect the live tile uh, because of the you know the not a lot of support for touch applications and so um, people didn't like that uh, I thought that it was okay and I you know I commend them for trying to be a little bit different um, overall uh, however there was a huge majority of people pushing back that they did not like the the uh, live tile and what they end up doing is downloading an application to create that uh, Windows 7 style obviously a lot of people were forced into uh, Windows 8.1 especially with buying a new devices so in here they kind of put it all together as you can see you still have all your apps in other words all programs and you also have your uh, most used uh, as a recent um, as you can see uh, and then you got your your live tiles here and these are all uh, customized obviously uh, you can move them around and um, and change them uh, in this case you can even separate them with what's work and uh, maybe with the uh, in here you can rename this for your personal stuff so um, you can move it around and kind of design it uh, sticking to the start menu you can also do um, expand uh, expand to start basically it gives you that uh, original uh, live tile start menu so if you click that it, g it gives you this kind of look uh, although you still have your start menu basically it, it turns it into a tablet mode uh, although I don't still I still find that not to be a tablet mode perfectly uh, because of the fact that these icons are uh, quite a lot smaller so uh, w that's that's what that button does um, in all programs uh, you start noticing these are kind of a dark menu uh, you know but I believe you can change this hopefully uh, with personalization uh, again it's all individual applications here I'm gonna leave some of those things open so I can transition into the other features of Windows 10 um, all apps uh, I've also noticed that there is a mail uh, application uh, again it, this has been around but the difference is that it's it's a responsive application uh, I don't know if you've seen websites but uh, depending on uh, either a mobile device or a full-on desktop it adjusts the website adjusts whenever you adjust the application or whatever uh, depending on the device you're using as you notice as I drag uh, it changes uh, accordingly so all the buttons get smaller or bigger um, and then you get your previews etc so it I think that's pretty cool again the 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 target that Microsoft as far as my understanding is set to have an operating system that will be for all different devices either from phone to tablet laptops desktops and anything that's touchscreen or whatnot so they also talked about the Lumia phones coming out that with touch uh, um, 
I'm sorry, with Windows 10 so that you can actually take that phone and turn it into a full-blown laptop. Uh, obviously, there's going to be, you know, you got to make sure that they have enough power. Um, the second portion is that they will be, you, you would need additional hardware to make it uh, fully work as a desktop. We'll see how that goes, and I'm looking forward to that uh, when it gets released. So I thought this is pretty neat, um, and we're going to illustrate this one uh, when I turn this into a tablet mode. So I'm going to leave that open as well. Uh, the next one is the calendar application. Uh, it does the same thing uh, in a way that uh, the more you expand or the, the more you change, you notice that they get crushed. It looks like getting crushed, and it turns it into, as you can see, months, May. Um, so, yeah, uh, it, ch it changes uh, depending on the resolution or screen size. Um, I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I also noticed there's two different music app in here. Uh, let's see. You have your people. So you have your people contacts. Um, let's see. Here's your map. So here's two music. Uh, for those uh, have used the Xbox music or whatever uh, <laughs> they call them. Uh, this is how it looks like and that's what it's currently uh, looks like and there's also a music preview so if we go back and open up music preview you can see the difference there is no longer Xbox music and I think what they're gonna end up doing is really kind of going away from the Xbox and in, in turning it all into Windows 10 I wouldn't be surprised if Xbox operating system will become Windows 10 and really, you know, where's what's going to happen to that gaming console? Uh, we don't know. So uh, I don't know if they're going to keep it. We'll see. Uh, as you can see the difference as well, uh, as you move, it will change accordingly, uh, which is neat. And I think this one might do it as well. Uh, obviously, there's an extra button for turning into a touch screen yeah it still it, it still does it so um, but as you can see there's still there's still that big difference Let's see I'm um, looking at other applications here that may or may not um, need attention oh project Spartan uh, it's still called project Spartan even though they've named it uh, Microsoft Edge uh, replacing the Microsoft Internet Explorer. So rest in peace, Internet Explorer. I haven't used it for years except for legacy applications. So here's the Project Spartan. Uh, set this up in full screen. Uh, it says Bing. Uh, the big difference on the Edge is that you can take notes. So obviously, uh, the way I see it, it, it just kind of leaves that screenshot of what you have doesn't technically mean it's still interactive as you can see it's almost like a snippet tool uh, built into the application or built into um, edge Microsoft Edge so then you can start circling what you need to do um, changing colors of the pen say look at this Bing uh, that's that's amazing and or highlights uh, highlight the Bing word uh, etc and then you get your clear uh, clear all option um, this one I think it's still buggy um, sometimes it doesn't clear and sometimes it does so uh, you can also add text say I want to say uh, let's say this is Bing so as you can say as you can see uh, what this does is it really maybe helps document certain things uh, or capture and share it uh, to a family member uh, whatever they may that whatever that may be so uh, also snippet copy uh, in that portion so note-taking will be pretty easy I guess uh, uh, just about anywhere you any website you go instead of taking a snippet tool then do your changes and then uh, save the image and then share it uh, in here you can do it all at once and um, and share it from there. Uh, music, OneNote, reading list. If you have other applications, you can probably set up to um, your note. Um, or see, yeah, as, there it is, screenshot. Um, or in other applications, uh, depending on what gets supported.
So that's qu uh, a quick overview on the Microsoft Edge. Um, I'm really unsure. I, to me, the way I look at it, it's still Internet Explorer. They just gave it a name. Um, they, they are using the, I think the engine is called Edge in the back. Uh, maybe that's what they're using it for. Uh, moving on uh, into something else, um, they have an option here called Task View. Uh, task View gives you kind of a overview of what applications you have running, as you can see right there. Uh, this is similar if you are a Mac user. This is very similar to um, the gesture uh, in the Mac where you can actually see your is ex existing uh, windows open so I just did that as you can see I have um, other things open um, similar to that uh, respect um, so it's really bringing some of those things that that I enjoy in Mac into the Windows 10 so I'm, I'm really excited about that uh, I'm really hoping that they work really close to the manufacturers so that you can get that gestures in your mouse and that's one of the difficult things in a laptop is that the mouse pad is never really really there um, so the next step uh, I want to show you is notification uh, as you can see your notification menu uh, pulls from the side and again if you are a Mac user and have uh, under, have seen Mac it's it's a very similar situation uh, you get the notification menu uh, on the on the right hand side uh, one of the big differences here is that you also have your quick toggle uh, buttons. You get your tablet mode, your media connect, all your settings. Uh, if we click on that, opens this as a separate setting. No longer kind of the control panel, even though control panel is still there. Uh, settings is really um, what they're driving people to go into. Uh, and also airplane mode. Um, and, and battery saver, Bluetooth, location, uh, rotation lock, and VPN. I'm assuming there's going to be other things here that you can change, um, uh, hopefully add or remove. Um, now jumping from here into the next uh, part of Windows 10 is tablet mode. If you click on tablet mode, uh, as you notice that everything gets all large and big screen. So all your quick icons here are gone. Uh, Cortana is now a smaller icon instead of a long search bar uh, as you can see and also um, you can see the same task uh, basically makes it everything larger uh, and make it more touch friendly so I can see where it's going uh, and what the what Microsoft is really envisioning is using Windows 10 to all devices regardless of the screen size. So I'm really excited for the Windows 10 to come out and see what it has to offer in, in other things to offer. And I'm really hoping that um, they work really close and well with the manufacturer and vendors because if you guys, if they don't, if they are not working close together, you're gonna have a lot of driver issues and you're gonna have a lot of um, same situation uh, where there's still gonna be disconnect, the mouse pad is not gonna be uh, good for the gestures that I'm seeing that you would do in a touch screen so I'm hoping that that gets transferred into the mouse pad so that's pretty much a quick overview of the uh, Windows 10 otherwise everything is flat design as you can see icons are flat there's no longer that 3d look as what we are all used to uh, since the beginning of, of Windows in my opinion so that is it. Uh, if you have any questions on the Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, uh, leave a comment and like the video and share. Uh, that'd be great. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.